Hi everyone, I'm Chris Charles, and today I will be showing you how to make this t-shirt that you can see on screen. This image is from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I picked this because I'm an absolute fan of the movie, I think it's brilliant, and I thought it would be a fun project to try out. So I hope you enjoy. First of all, you need to pick out a t-shirt you're going to use in the project. I picked out a light grey t-shirt because it would be easier to transfer the picture onto. You then want to get your picture, I have picked this picture because I really like it, it's a brilliant picture. I've printed it off. Uh, you can draw a picture which sh would show a lot more creativity but I thought for this example it would be a lot easier just to print one off. Here I've got some masking tape that I've laid down and overlapped so that I have a sheet of sticky masking tape that I will use to put my picture underneath so then I can hopefully cut out a template. Right, now while getting the masking tape down, you want to make sure there's no air pockets or any creases because that will mess up the overall template when you are done. So, patting it down, getting it all ready. Now you want to get your scalpel. You can use a pair of scissors, but the scalpel will give you a bit more precision. And be very careful, these things are sharp. Even if you're using scissors, be careful. Uh, ideally, you kind of need both hands to keep this steady. I'm using my left hand to hold the camera. I really shouldn't be doing that. But, here we are a little bit further in. And as you can see, the masking tape is coming away from the paper. Though I think in some cases, the I cut a bit too deep. So, um... The masking tape is still stuck to the paper but the great thing about masking tape is it's not that sticky so it is a it is easy enough to get away from the paper once you finish carving out your template and here you can see a little bit further in I've taken out the pillars and I need to get out Sally and Jack now and what I would be left with is the moon which is what I will transfer to the t-shirt uh, here we have my t-shirt and the first part of the stencil going down. You really want to make sure that it is in the middle of the t-shirt. I'll move the cat out of the way. You want to make sure it's in the middle of the t-shirt because later on once you've sprayed the t-shirt the picture will be permanent so you want to get this part right straight away. So pat it down make sure it is stuck otherwise it will mess up when you start to spray your paint onto it. It will go into the parts of the masking tape that have lifted up. Right, so just finishing off the template taken off. Hello, Emily. Taking the rest of the template off and just getting it to match up. It is coming apart in different bits, but that was how the template was done. So I've just got to match it together when it's on the T-shirt. Right, nearly done now. I just need to finish off the bottom parts of Jack and Sally and add the fence that's either side of them. So, coming along nicely. Here is the end part. I've got the fence on it, I've got Jack on it. And as you can see, there are little bits of masking tape, little triangle bits, just to give it the look of grass and pebbles on the floor. Right, now you want to get your picture vertically up on a board. And underneath, I have put some paper, sheets of paper, in between the t-shirt. So just in case I put too much transfer spray on, it won't leak through onto the back because the last thing you want is a part print on the back of your t-shirt. Right, here is some textile fabric paint. And like I say, it is permanent. Ideally, you want to use latex gloves for this because it will put stay in your hands. It took me ages to get it off. So invest in some latex gloves and you, you, you'll thank me for it. Now, just to try and evenly get the paint transfer all over the template, not to miss any of the details, otherwise it would have gone to waste, and hopefully it will look good. For this, I definitely want to make sure Jack and Sally stand out more than anything else. That's why I'm, I'm paying more attention to those two, because they are the key figures in this. But I definitely want to get the fence in, because it does add to the overall effect. Right, just try and get it all nice and even, and hopefully it will work out. It's looking pretty good, I think.
Right, and now to leave it to dry. Hmm. I was a little bit impatient. I started to piddle off this off while it was still slightly wet. Uh, it did smudge a little bit, but overall I'm quite happy with how it is coming off. Uh, use some tweezers for this because it, it makes it a lot easier for precise grabbing of the bits of masking tape. And if you was to use your fingers, any wet parts would still stay in your hands. So yeah, use some tweezers for this and have some tissue paper on the side to help get the uh, paint off the tweezers otherwise if there is any other wet bits it will end up leaving marks on the t-shirt that you don't want them to be there and ideally use both hands for this so I think I'll fast forward a bit and here is all of the masking tape off I think that's worked out really nicely actually I'm quite happy with that so here's me wearing the t-shirt thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I think I will be doing a couple of more videos like this because I really did enjoy this. So if you have any ideas for a t-shirt design, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much.